When I'm streaming, sometimes things don't go exactly the way they're supposed to. One of my main issues has been my camera likes to freeze randomly and I don't exactly know why. And I don't always know when it happens when I'm streaming because I'm either engaged in chat or I'm really focused on a certain part of the game or something else. And so with that, I came up with an idea to use StreamerBot and StreamerBot's decks to give my moderators the ability to help me out when things don't go right with the production. You can have a lot of things happen with StreamerBot, but this one has become one of my favorites and actually has become a lifesaver in a lot of different ways. If you have any questions about how to do this or you think I missed something, let me know in the comments below. And yes, comments and likes definitely help get my videos out there. A little help would be nice. So let me walk you through how to set up a moderator's board with StreamerBot. So in my StreamerBot, if you look down here, I have created where my moderators would then be able to control the music and different volumes for different aspects of my stream. And one other thing that I have created is resetting the camera in which I have created where I set up an OBS RAW where it just presses the button to deactivate and activate the camera. Now you set up the actions like you normally would for anything and you can even use these yourself as a press button and not only just for you but you can share that deck with people that you want. Once you have your actions set up what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you go to server and clients and you're going to go to the web socket server make sure it's auto start and set it up to where you have your address your port and starting the server. This will make sure that you will actually connect to the StreamerBot website. Another thing you want to do coming over to the integrations if you go to where it says StreamerBot website this is where you can also log in now naturally i'm already logged in and i want to keep myself logged in so here you would just go to streamer.bot this is the website and if you really want to you can put the https in there but you would go to StreamerBot, and then if you come over you would log in here and you log in with your discord so to make sure everything's happening because right now i am not connected and it won't connect because if i look the port number is incorrect for what I've set mine up for. So if I go to deck options and under general, I come down here, I put in my IP address and I put in my port and you just hit save. Then if I come up here, ah, we are connected. Yay. Once you've logged in with Discord, if you come down here to where it says decks, click that. And what you can do is you can create a completely new deck. Now, when you do this, it'll come up with the deck name and you just click on it. And what happens here is it comes up with basically a bunch of blank buttons. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create our first button. So here we've got general. Now you have a choice between action and action with input. Now most generally I just stick with the actions but action with input would give you this extra part right here where you can put in the text and the argument name and it's a little bit more of an advanced setup. But for some of this stuff, it's just simpler to go with just an action. And then it's going to get every action you've ever created with your streamer bot because it is connected. I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to where I can do the reset my Elgato camera since that's the one I typically have more problems with. Down here on these cooldown options, these are set to negative one, which means it defaults to your streamer bot options. If you want to override those for your moderators, you can go in here and you can actually adjust them individually if you would like. Next, you can go to appearance and you type in what this is. So I will call this reset camera. You can adjust your background color to whatever you want it to be. So we'll just go ahead and make that red. The text color, you can also adjust to any color you like. So sure, let's go with black. If you have want to have an icon on it, you can go down here to this link, click on it, and it'll bring you to the icon library of all the different icons you can just bring in and use. So I'll just click one and then I'm gonna find a camera. It's also handy to note that this also has things for the different consoles available to it. So there's 1UP Mushroom, there's Pokeballs. It's nice to be able to use whatever you want for these icons so that way you can make it as personalized as you want. You can even make it your social media. So if you have Twitch specific triggers, you can use those or YouTube specific. Where is the camera? I forget, that's all phone. I'm probably overlooking someone. Screw it, we're gonna go with the GoPro. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the GoPro camera and I'm just gonna go ahead and click this copy right here. Once I have it copied, I'm gonna go back to the StreamerBot website Website. On the icon, I'm just gonna paste that in there. Now I've got a camera. If you wanna use a custom image, you can actually just go ahead and upload whatever you would want for it. Then on arguments, if you have any additional arguments you want to add to this, you can. Now, this is again, another advanced feature, but not necessary, but something to play with if you want to. Once you're done, you just hit save. And now I have this reset camera button. Now to show you how this will work, since I'm using the browser, 
I've got it set right here. I'm looking into my camera right now. Let's say my camera froze. Click the button and it reset my camera for me. This is a way that I have been able to make sure that I have one click options ready to go and be able to make things a little bit smoother. But wait a minute, what about sharing? So this is my favorite part is that you can actually share this. So if you hit your options and you come down to security here, you can keep it, you can make it public. So if you wanted to give a board to your viewers, you can actually let that happen if you wanted to. But if you keep it private here, as long as your moderators register as a streamer bot user using their discord name with the discriminator, they're good to go. Since discriminators are gone, you may need to use hashtag zero as basically the discriminator. But here you can see that my alt, my dummy account is here i click and then i hit save and so i'm gonna log in with my dummy account now when i go here into the decks you can see that there is a deck here from my streamer bot and so now with this deck that's accessed by my dummy account it should be able to do the same thing and it did and this is how i have made it so much easier on myself to make sure my stream is running smoothly when it comes to the overall look of everything. My moderators now have buttons that trigger stuff directly in StreamerBot. So let me give you another example. So when I go to the moderator board I've actually created, I have buttons that my moderators would then be able to use, such as being able to make a clip instantly, being able to add a marker for, my, for me. If my video shout out should happen to bug out, they can close it themselves. They can also hit the reset the camera. They can turn channel points on and off if we ever needed to, as well as put my stream in a full lockdown. That way nobody chats, nobody can trigger anything, and this is my way of keeping everyone safe. But I also have where if I need to disable the multi-chat and just go to a Twitch only chat, I can do that or adjust the all the different audio sources that usually need to be adjusted. This has been very handy for my moderators to where if something's happening and I can't see it, they can react quicker than I can. But you can do something as simple as being able to have your bot bring up your Discord with a one button push. So if someone asks, hey, do you have a Discord? The moderator can hit a button and automatically that link is posted right in your chat. You can do something as simple as that. There are a lot of different creative things you can do with this board and you can make your moderators more involved and give them tools that are far beyond what your streaming platforms are giving them. And honestly, this is really all that there is to the video and I'm hoping that this inspires you to be able to make stuff for your moderators to give them a little bit more to work with to help control your stream, help keep your stream running smooth and well, fix some problems that you may be overlooking. Make sure you're subscribed so that way you can check out a lot of the other different stuff that's coming too. That's all I got for you today. So have a good one and I'll see you on the next video.